It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the NFC West. Great game in store for y'all. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. With the beautiful Puget Sound just to our west, you get a look inside Lumen Field here in Seattle, Washington. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kickoff straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. And off we go from Seattle. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Cardinals offense heading out, and they do so behind Kyler Murray, their dynamic quarterback in his sixth season now from Oklahoma. And now that he's back at full health, they're expecting Kyler to get back to being the superstar playmaker that they drafted. Make no mistake about it, when he's fully healthy, there aren't many quarterbacks who are as dynamic as he is. And if he's able to stay on the field, this team has a real chance to make some noise. First carry for James Conner. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Nice run defense presented there, and what I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes, no one over-pursuing, and making a very nice play. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second and nine. Murray now to throw. Screen pass to Connor. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. And as you're game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guys' pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs back in the block. Or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. They'll get this one complete to Zane Jones. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one goes for 24 yards. That's really good play design right there, and it's one that comes down to the offensive line. It's a deep in route, but it's only going to work if that line gives you time in the pocket to wait for the route to develop. Mission accomplished there as they pick up the first down. On first and 10 is counter. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now a second and six. He'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Murray again. This is Connor. A little second effort there on the strong run. And then dropped just inside of the 20. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. Over the middle complete, it's Harrison. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game, and 
Nice pass there. Another setup beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner, and that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down, but if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground, and that they did that time for a loss. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. Again, it'll be counter. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. They get five on the run, but it leaves them with a tough third and goal forthcoming. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. And this one is right through. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? Ryland now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Seahawks set to go on offense here, and it is the pro bowler Geno Smith at quarterback Charles in his 12th NFL season. And Smith continues to show that his career resurgence hasn't been some fluke. He's brought a level of maturity, stability, and good play that allows him to compete with any team on any given week. The real question is whether or not he can become a championship caliber quarterback. Only time will tell, but for now, he's done enough to give this franchise reason to believe they can certainly get the job done. They'll run. It's Kenneth Walker. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Here's a second down and seven from the 37. Play action. It's Smith. That's complete to D.K. Metcalf. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one good for 26 and a first down. This is all about finding the open space in the middle of the field. How do you do that? One way is through play action. That's going to freeze those linebacks for just a split second, and sometimes that's all you need. They run a deep in route behind them, and it works to perfection. Line of scrimmage moves from one 37-yard line to the other as they come up first and 10. On the counter, it's Walker. Able to push his way through. Down at the 35, it'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. 
They'll fake it. Now Smith. To the sideline and incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Here's Smith. Setting up the screen here. This is Walker. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. The Seahawks moving pretty well through the air. Another first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. We'll get that to Charbonnet. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12. First and 10. Well, as a lineman, they are trained. You've got to stay close to home. If you're more than a yard downfield, they're going to toss that flag, and they did there. Now to the ground. Here's Walker. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Second and ten. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion, and they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Throwing now is Geno. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It'll go as a sack, a loss of three, and in turn, it takes us to a fourth down. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. On comes the Seahawk kicker here on fourth down. It's Jason Myers. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. Myers' kick is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Go a little tennis on me. I huh? know you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. That. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back out, and they get a backhand. What was the, serve? It, what was the return it, on? It was a backhand. I like a that really one. good backhand. It's a nice top spin on the a little bit. Thing. A little I bit. love it. Almost mm -hmm. a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points yeah, on the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. He turned that into a nice game, gets him eight yards closer for third down. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? 
He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? To throw is Murray. Looking downfield for Jones. And that's caught inside the 35. A huge play there for Arizona. 46 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Connor up the middle. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Murray going to throw. And Jones has it over the middle. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 16. 83 yards receiving now for him on the afternoon as he's got a first down here. What a drive this has been. Just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Here's Murray. And this is incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. Now a second and ten. To throw, it's Murray. And this will be swung out here for counter. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline. You know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. These two teams all tied after one. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And the first play will be a field goal try. He hit his first, now this from 43. And his kick is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals. It's 6-3. to three. So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We've got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them. 
both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. So all field goals so far, 6-3 yard score as the kick is away. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith, left side here, taken in by Metcalf. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and they'll be faced with a third and in inches. Off of play action, here's Smith. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there. Getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Walker now on first and 10. Got a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Second down and three. Now it's Smith. And Walker with it over the middle. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Up the middle, here's Walker. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Smith. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Out of the gun, Walker with it. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So 
So they got him coming up from his linebacker spot. And sometimes the position designation really doesn't matter. If you creep up to the line of scrimmage, you just have to look for the football. Make sure it moves before you do. They'll try the air now with Smith. His pass caught at the four. And the Seahawks are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And the throw and the catch were just fine, but against zone coverage when you run a drag route, what you're hoping for is he makes the catch and makes someone miss, and they don't there. Very difficult route to run when everyone has their eyes back towards the quarterback and they're able to see the route develop. Walker is in. Touchdown, Seattle. Two good drives on their first two possessions. Remember, the first wound up in a field goal, but we all know field goals aren't going to cut it in the NFL. So they're not going to be denied here. And they wind up punching this one into the end zone. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And he's got it as the lead is now 10-6. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was Ken Walker finishing things off for the touchdown run. the touchdown here's Myers to boot it away and he brings us out past the 20 to the 24 the Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field they've been settling quite a bit they've been able to move the football some but they've just been settling that's one of the reasons they're down on the scoreboard I love that word you picked settling because nowadays into in this NFL you're thinking touchdown almost every drive because everything's so high-powered. Yeah, you'll take the field goal, but you always feel like you're leaving points out there when you don't put it in the end zone. They'll be trying to put it in the end zone here on this drive. They begin on the ground here with Connor. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 29, here's second and five. Now Murray. Caught by Jones. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. They'll try the left side with Connor. Treads him with a stiff arm. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 41 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. That runs successful in large part because they had a lot of extra help blocking up front. Yeah, you've got guys who can do that very, very well. In addition, they can catch the football. So sometimes when they line up with three tight ends, it's not necessarily to run it. And that gives you an advantage when you do decide to barrel off the line of scrimmage and block people downfield. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with the incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Here's second and ten. From the gun, again to Connor. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. You don't see that a ton, do you, with a cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle? That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. And 
the Seahawks defense gets to him and they bring him down. Leonard Williams. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. We'll call that a 47-yard punt, a return of just three. And it'll be Seahawk football first and ten. The Seahawks offense and Kenneth Walker set to take over once more. And he has been a big component of the passing game so far. You see the numbers for this first half. This defense is going to need to find some way to key in on him because he is eating him up right now. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. From the 21, here's second down and five. To throw is Smith. Pass is caught. It's Metcalf going across the field here. And he steps out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35. It's a big play there for Seattle. 46 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So in the Cardinal territory now, it's first and 10, down at the 33. Now Smith. He hits his target, lock it. And they're working inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up with a first and 10. Smith. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. Straight ahead, Walker. And power running here down to the six-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and 10. Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting him to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. A shotgun snap for Smith. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Now they're staring at a fourth down as Arizona's defense does its job. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. Myers kick is good and that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13 to 6. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far Brandon I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. And 
And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe someday they'll press it a little bit. This might be the case. From the gun, Murray. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Here's Murray. Complete to Jones. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37, gain of nine. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. On third down, it's Connor. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. But we tend to give those running backs that are slashers a lot of credit. But how about guys who are maulers? Because that's what you want in short yardage situations. And we just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical downhill running. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Murray now. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Try to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know, there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Throwing now is Murray. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 38-yard line. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Big gains in succession. Last one was over 20. This one over 30. I think this defense was still trying to recover from that last play, so you wonder if they were ready for this one. You have to imagine their defensive coaches are yelling at them to get focused, because if they don't, more plays like that will result in giving up points. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on... And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Zay Jones from four yards out. And the Cardinals are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit. Found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free. And his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. The extra point by Ryland up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime.
All square now at 13 all as he sends this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Seahawks offense and DK Metcalf getting ready to go back to work. And it may be time for this defense to start throwing a second defender his way because whatever they've done, it has not worked in this first half. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing. And they get a nice pick up here toward the end of the first half. Here's Smith. This one goes underneath to Walker. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now a second and two. Throwing now is Gino. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Gino completes it to Fant on the right side. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Second down and eight. Gino down to throw. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Now, I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now Smith. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range, no sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. Now here's Jason Myers. He gets set for the Seahawk field goal. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. Myers' kick is good, and they have regained the lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Yeah, that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here.
Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. It was a strong first half for the former Spartan, Kenneth Walker. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here comes the Seahawks offensive unit. They'll have it first to begin the third. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Hands it to Walker to begin the series. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Third and five. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. The keeper nets him only a yard, and that's going to bring up fourth. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Out comes Zay Jones with the rest of his offense as they take the field. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once over 100 yards. But, hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes... That means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. And some room to maneuver. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play there on the catch and run. And it'll move the chains. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. Oh, wide open receiver. It's Harrison. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 16 more on that one and another first down. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? They run behind center with Cotter. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. 
Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Murray now to throw. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and Maswell became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. Well, that last sack puts Murray and the cards in a tough spot. Third and long. He'll drop to throw. Screen pass to Connor. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do... They go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 62 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they stouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. Setting up the screen here, this is Walker. They hold him to only two there on the screen. It's second down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. From the gun, it's Walker. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. First down, Seattle, 16 yards the game there. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 46. Smith. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything, and against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Up the middle they run. It's Walker. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Out of the gun, Smith. Forced out to his left. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. 
So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second half, and that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security, and none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 at a first. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look, five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, this red zone is where the Seahawk crowd really makes it tough for an offense to communicate. It's third down. That's to McBride, and he has it. Touchdown, Cardinals. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Cardinals have taken the lead here in this third quarter. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Ryland on for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown reception from Trey McBride. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. Fighting his way through contact. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Seahawks offense and their running back getting set to go once more. And you have to imagine this defense saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run roughshod through him to this point in the third quarter. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Charles, you got to think the number one goal here is ball security. Remember, last drive they coughed it up, then they allowed the touchdown, and now they're trailing on the scoreboard. Boy, the way you described it makes me think that that one actually hurt them three times. The fumble cost them potential points. Then they watched their opponent get a touchdown off of the fumble. And third, they lost the lead as a result. Really tough sequence right there. 
I don't think coaches have to remind them to hold on to the football. They've just got to find a way to get it done. From the gun, here's Smith. He'll find Metcalf. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Third and eight. Throwing is Smith. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Boy, that was certainly well-read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short gain. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. And here comes Dorch on the return. A 46-yard punt four-yard return and it will be first and ten as they take over the Cardinals offense and Kyler Murray headed back out onto the field and as we show you some of the highlights from earlier he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. He's across midfield and finally brought down at the 38. 16 more on that one and another first down. Was that a design pass or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Murray a give. This is Connor. Busting through contact. Just wasn't a huge hole there for him to operate. Stopped just inside the 35-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. To throw, it's Murray. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's Cardinal football. They're also out in front of the scoreboard as we get set for the fourth. The Cardinals on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and five. Here's Murray. A short one here, caught by McBride. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. A short game that doesn't get on the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They're going for it. It's Murray. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. 
Boy, that was a big gamble for them right there. They went for it on fourth down, showed a little chutzpah because they did it with the lead here in the fourth quarter. And this defense is once again unable to stop them. To throw is Murray. A quick throw there is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Conner, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals will add to their fourth quarter lead. And here on third down, your number one goal, don't be a hero, just get the first down. But here, once he gets past the line of scrimmage, the field opens up for him, and he's able to take it right up the gut and into the end zone. Now Ryland for the PAT. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. Breaks through the contact. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Left side here taken in by Metcalf. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Second and a couple. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. How about that? One of the so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. Here's third and nine. Smith to the right side and complete to Metcalf and he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33 it'll be a gain of five and that'll bring up fourth down one hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game understanding positioning and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And they will take over first and 10. The Cardinals offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. 
Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy, just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? I think so. Three away from that century mark, got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. On first and 10 is counter. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. And this offense on third down today, they've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and four. Now Murray. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Well, this drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Again, a run with Connor. And he's got some space here. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. 126 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Murray going to throw. Throw left side, hauled in by McBride. And the Cardinals are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. 
The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Connor will take this one in. It's a Cardinal touchdown. You think about James Conner down near the goal line, and you think about the 2021 season with his 15 touchdown runs. He believes he's as good as anybody down close, and he powers his way in here. Ryland on for the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that one a long 11 play drive. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. Ryland now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Now the ball now going back over the Seattle Seahawks offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now? Is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their own 24. Now Gino. He'll find his man, LaVisca Chanel. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. So the completion good for seven there. At its second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Gino out to throw. They'll fire one downfield for Fan. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They'll run for it. It's Walker. Room here to run. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. That's sort of a prime example, is it not, of, of selling out defensively on fourth and short? It certainly is, because what you're doing defensively is saying you're going to stop them right there at the line of scrimmage or make a play on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Instead, they get just enough of a hole chopped, and you're thin on the second and third levels. Then you become a chaser instead of a tackler. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up second down. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. That is taken in by the tight end fan. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 12-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains.
Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. To throw is Smith. And his throw here is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Throwing now is Gino. He finds Smith and Jigba in the end zone for the Seahawks touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game. Myers connects on the PAT, and that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was capped off by a Jackson Smith and Jigba touchdown catch. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Cardinals' hands team able to secure the football. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The visitors' offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Pass the 20. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down at the two. So close. A big play there on the option. 43 yards. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. They'll run here with Connor. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll look to run with Connor, and he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Connor finishing strong with three fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Cards tack on another score as they have dominated this fourth quarter. That's a great read down here near the goal line. Most defenses are keying in on Kyler Murray, knowing they like to have the ball in his hands. But here he gives it up on the option, and that's a great call as it leads to a touchdown run. Now Ryland for the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. Yeah, 
So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The home team's offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, it's all been on display throughout. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. A shotgun snap for Smith. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. Setting up the screen here, this is Walker. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. And this won't be enough. A good secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. The screen does get him nine, but it also brings up a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and it'll be a turnover on downs. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. The football going back over to Arizona now. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals, and maybe more importantly, a victory in the division, which always helps. And on the road, how about all of that rolled up into one? Because how often do you see division games get decided by this much of a margin? Most yeah, they time thumped in, them. Yeah, they jumped all over them. And a division game is usually a touchdown or less because these two teams know each other better than most teams in the league. In this case, that didn't hold up. On the road, big margin, big victory.